July program for Bergheim. To be fair, I'm still kind of caught up on the fucking June program. The June program is absolutely banging. I'm still trying to get out there for June, maybe the end of end of June, especially with the Rene Wise fucking um showcase happening or the, the, the Rene Wise closing event. I think it's happening. Oh, it's happening. I think this weekend. I'm, I'm not mistaken. I think I'm, I might be too late for that one, isn't it? Well, the Rene Wise is happening. I think it's this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, or is it next weekend? When is it? Hold on, let me just quickly double check this. When is that one? Oh yeah, it is. It's this weekend. Damn. Okay, well, I'm probably too late to that one. So, Rene Wise is closing on the Saturday, actually, coming up. Um, I've heard, anyway, allegedly, that's what people are saying online, that Rene Wise is closing on the Saturday. So, this particular month is fucking crazy, to be fair. Loads of great fucking events. I think there's God Jansen playing sometime around the 22nd, and a few other great people playing towards the end of the month as well. But, July is out, so let's have a look at July and see who's playing at the hallowed space that is Bergheim Paranormal Bar in July. So, um, looking at the list so far, let me quickly scan and see if there's somebody here that I'm a big fan of. Oh my God, straight away, straight away. Look at that, as serendipitous as that is, David Vunk playing at Hello Rama Bar, Panorama Bar, on the 5th of July, Friday. That's amazing because I've just been listening to David Vunk's set um, courtesy of The School. The School have this amazing archive of 800 plus sets that they've kind of put together and one of David Vunk's sets is on there that I've been tearing apart in the gym. It's an absolute bop and he's one of the best DJs out there personally for me in terms of just groove and having a good time. I don't know what you want to call it that he plays. EBM, House, uh, Atello, Disco, um, you know... I don't know, fucking anything else in between. He, he plays everything, basically. He's all over the place. I'm a big fan of David Vunk, and obviously he's a bit of a character as well. So he's playing on the 5th of July. Um, who else have we got here? Then on the following Saturday, we've got um, Elian Nata playing, DJ Nobu, always a fucking good time. Gatana P uh, Paricio playing, Justine Perry playing, Matthew Char, Norman Nodge. Um, in the Panama Bar on that same day, you've got Cynthia, Dam Swindle, Etap Kyle, Hiroku Yamamura, Kiki, Mel, Kiki, uh, Kiki, Kiki Lomu, or Keke Lomu, Kiki Lomu, Kiki Lomu, Lao, Wallace. That's a really good lineup, I'm not going to lie. This is very underrated because people want, you know, there's no real big superstar names there. But this is probably a very strong, strong lineup, that one. I'm um, the 6th of July. I'm not going to lie. Pure Space is happening um, on the 11th of July. Finest Fridays on the 12th is a decent lineup there. The club night on the 13th of July. You've got Blawan playing. Ooh, return of Blawan. Jacko, Jacko, LOL, Snake, Big Up, Herd, Norbuck, OK Williams, Riffs, and Tasha. Panama Bar. You've got um, David Ilimichi, Eli Meleki, or Eli Meleki? Eli, Eli, how do you say that? Eli, Eli, Mel, Leash. Yeah, David, Eli, Melish. Eli, Eli, Melish. D Diggs. DJ Holographic, who I'm a big fan of as well. She's fucking banging. Um, Nick Hopner, Omo Loco, Richard Akibening, Egyptian Lover. Wow. In Sao, playing on the 13th. That's another good lineup as well. That might be fun. That might be really fun to see Egyptian Lover play live at Sao. Might be really fucking fun. So I really recommend you keep an eye on that one. Um, we've got... Um, Hammam Nights playing on Panama Bar on the 19th. That's a really good night as well. You've got Cock Whore and Macho, Fafi Abdel Noor, um, Joss Cafe, and Sidif Adassi as well. So great. Um, who's the founder? I'm pretty sure. Um, club And then on the following club night on the 20th of July, you've got Amanda Musi, Aurora Halal, Barka, Maron playing again. Great to see him there. So he's getting a lot of gigs at Bergheim recently. So that's great to see. Pink Concrete, Ryan Elliott. And in the Paramount Bar, you've got Avalon Emerson, um, Danny Voltage, Fadi Moham, Fiedel, Nancy Robinson, Paula Temple. Um, so far, the best lineup, I'm not going to lie, might be so far, my list of my recommendations, if you want them anyway, is the 6th of July. That might be my sleeper one, especially, um, six, especially that weekend, 5th to 6th. Because you get to see David Bunk play at Panama Bar. I'm not too sure about everybody else. I'm not really not familiar with the rest of the DJs. And then you get DJ Nobu, Justin Perry, Gatana Paricio, Norman Nodge, UVB, Cynthia. That's a fucking, that's a house fun, pure bliss and, you know, pure fucking happiness lineup. I'm not going to lie. That's really fucking good. If you went on that weekend, maybe even from, from the Thursday. Anyway, continuing on. 
So I said that. Um, then you've got Sal playing happening as well. Then, uh, of, of course, okay, the CSD lineup is also pretty fucking tough. So the CSD lineup at the end of the month, which is basically Berlin Gay Pride, right? Essentially CSD, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, CSD Berlin Meaning. I'm pretty sure it's, it's basically Berlin Pride, right? Christopher Christopher Street Day is an is an annual European LGBTQ celebration and demonstration held in several cities across Europe. Um, okay, so it's not just a Berlin thing. So CSD is is across Europe, and um, it's Germany's and Switzerland's counterpart to Gay Pride. And okay, cool. So Germany and Switzerland Gay Pride happens. Uh, that's what CSD is. So that probably might be the best lineup, second only to the one that I mentioned, which is obviously the six, which is the one over here. That features everybody that I mentioned, but that CST lineup is really good. Yo, Blusher and Alat, man, whoever's their agents, or maybe it's just them playing well. Why am I seeing them everywhere? They are killing it. Or maybe I'm just looking at certain parties, but they seem to get booked everywhere. Legitly. They are like silently without again, I don't see many like trendy, corny, cheesy cringy videos of them on youtube or like on tiktok and stuff with their arms played open or doing weird faces like i would do trying to promote myself they're actually just playing and just vibing and people seem to love them they're everywhere i always see blush and Allah everywhere everywhere fucking amazing um that's money paligaria one of my favorites um you got partok playing there face fatal wow that'll be fucking fun Steffi, Virginia, Yonti. Um, then you got Bashak playing in Panama Bar. Who else I like it? Cormac. I love Cormac. Cormac forever. One of the best disco party DJs in the scene right now. Fucking Cormac. I want to see one day Cormac back to back with Pablo Boozy or something. That would be fucking incredible. Or like back to back with um, what's the fucking name again? Oh man, uh, Jennifer Cardini. Imagine that. Woof. Gabo Quartain playing Lakuti. Um, who also I like here, Roy Perez I'm a big fan of, Tamasuma's there, and then in the garden you've got Chris Cruz, nice, Mike Starr, and N. Baumecca, who is one of my favourite fucking residents over there, of course, and I'm also happy to see Mike Starr, Mike Starr gets booked to play at Bergheim in different rooms all the time, I think Mike Starr might have played in every room so far, maybe with the exception of Bergheim, he's always playing in Pano, so big up Mike Starr, man, he's had a really good... Um, 18 months or so since i've not maybe more than that because i think i first discovered mike star courtesy of fucking whore but i'm sure mike star has been around for fucking ever and been grinding but mike star's really been fucking blossoming so big up fucking mike star so yeah um a pretty stacked lineup no actually i'm gonna take it back not the most star-studded lineup you can see it's definitely festival season um definitely from the months of like maybe let's say like may onwards the lineups kind of dry out in terms of the big blockbuster names but they still kept them really stacked and like i said i think the real standout sly hit of a night out to go if you want to go Berghain is definitely the fifth um the weekend of the fifth and the sixth is my standout i recommend you checking out david vunk i i tell rama bar and of course checking out um dj nova playing at you know Berghain, and of course cindy playing in panama bar she's fucking amazing i'd imagine also etap kyle in panama would be cool too i've never actually heard him play a house set yet um i'm still used to the etap kyle big room etap kyle similar to playing like daria but now he's switched his kind of style and plays more housey type of stuff i'd actually be uh, eager and excited to see what his type of music is and what he's going to be playing so big up Berghain, always amazing great lineups as per usual as always good luck to those of you who do venture out over there